Hello dear friends, welcome back to my Patreon channel, I am Yelena Rugal and today I am going to crochet adorable project for my phone. It is going to be phone case or small bag. The main pattern for this small bag consists of 4 stitches and has 2 rounds. Please write comment below the video what you will get with me. And let's get started crocheting. Let's crochet phone case or small bag. I will begin from the foundation chain. Make a chain of 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The foundation chain is ready. Now I'm going to work with rounds. Make a chain of three to bring up the yarn. Then yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the fourth chain stitch away from the hook. Make double crochet. Then double crochet more into the same chain stitch. Make double crochet into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain. Then you should continue working till the end of this round. But I'm going to work with five double crochet into the last chain stitch. Then you should crochet the straight part. I have done double crochet around. Now I'm going to work with five double crochet into the last chain stitch of the foundation chain. Make five double crochet. Let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I am working with opposite side. I turn my stitches upside down. Now I am working in backwards direction. Make double crochet into the each chain stitch. Then you should crochet the straight part. Then I show you what we will do next. I have done double crochet in the straight part. Make double crochet into the same chain stitch that I did double crochet twice into. Instead of the fifth double crochet I did three chains to bring up the yarn. So everything correct. Work with third chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Make a slip stitch. Round one is ready. In total it should be 46 stitches. Now let's crochet round 2. Then I'm going to work with single crochet stitches. Pattern consists of two rows and has four stitches. Then 
This is my four stitches. You should make the foundation chain multiples or four. For more beautiful look, in the next round, I'm adding two stitches. Here how it looks. This is my first round. You can add any amount of stitches in your round. Let's crochet round two. I move back to my work. Make chain to bring up the yarn for the next round. Make double crochet into the make single crochet into the next stitch and make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous round. I add one single crochet and make the second single crochet into the same stitch. So I did single crochet increase. Here what I have. Now make a slip stitch into the chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Round is done. In total it should be 48 stitches, 47 stitches in the round plus one chain stitch on the beginning. Let's crochet the main pattern. Pattern consists of four stitches and consists of two rows. Chain through to bring up the yarn. Then chain two more, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the third chain stitch away from the hook, pull up a loop, pull through first loop to the level of the chain. Then you should work in the same way four more times around the chain. Insert the hook around the chain. Pull through first loop to the level of the chain 2, 3, 4, and 5. Well done. Then pull through all loops on the hook. Make a chain. Pull a little bit. Yarn over the hook. I skip one, two, three, insert the hook into the four stitch, make double crochet. So my triangle stitch is ready. Then chain of two, yarn over the hook, insert the hook around the double crochet, pull through first loop to the level of the chain one, two, three, four and five. Then pull through all loops on the hook, make a chain. The second stitch is ready. Double crochet into the four stitch, skip one, two, three and double crochet into the fourth stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Then I show you how to complete this round together. This is the first round of the main pattern. Pattern consists of two rows. Let's finish my round together. I remind you this. I'm about to complete this round. So let's finish it with me. Insert the hook into the chain stitch that I work it first time into. Now make a slip stitch. 
Round 1 is done. This is the first round of the main pattern. Let's crochet round 2 of the main pattern. Cheat to pick up the yarn. Make a chain. This is a chain stitch for the transition. And make single crochet three times into the chain. One, two, three. And single crochet between stitches. Three single crochet into the stitch. One, two, three. And single crochet between stitches. Three single crochet. One, two, three. And single crochet into the chain space. This is the second round of my main pattern. Pattern consists of only two rounds or two rows. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I show you how to complete this round together. It was round of single crochet. I skip the first chain stitch. Insert the hook into the first single crochet. Make a slip stitch. My round is done. I remind you my pattern consists of only two rounds or two rows. Let's crochet round three of the main pattern. Chain three to bring up the yarn for then chain of two for the chain space, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the third chain stitch away from the hook, pull up a loop, pull through first loop to the level of the chain, one, two, work around the chain, three, four, five, well done, then pull through all loops on the hook, make a chain, work with double crochet into the four stitch, make double crochet, skip three stitches and double crochet. One, two, three, and to work with the four stitch. Then you should work with 3D stitch, chain of two, yarn over, and one, two, three, four, five, pull through all loops on the hook. Make a chain, yarn over the hook, I skip one, two, three, and double crochet into the fourth stitch. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round 16, but you should try it on your phone or determine by yourself. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch and I have already cut off the yarn and my body part of phone case or back is ready. Let's look at the main pattern. From the back side I remove my yarn to the back side and you should remove this yarn along the stitches. So I insert the hook into the stitch from the back side, take the working yarn, pull it through. I'm using crochet hook, but you can use sewing needle, this is by your wish. 
you should do this by yourself. The width is 9 centimeters and the long of the case is 17 centimeters. 18th round of the main pattern. I remind you, you should try it on your phone or the size of such small bag you determine by yourself. It can be longer or shorter. Now I show you how to crochet the cord for such small bag or phone case. Now I am working with two cords. Make a chain, then chain of two and double crochet into the third stitch. Chain of two, yarn over the hook and double crochet into two loops of the double crochet. So it is a very easy cord. Chain of two, yarn over and double crochet into two loops of the double crochet, made double crochet. Then you should work as long as you need. Let's look at my second ready cord. Here how it looks. The second one is ready. So my small project is ready. For this project I used yarn and a crochet hook. The main pattern consists of four stitches and has two rows. Also for this small project I did two cords. Stretch the cord through the stitches, the upper part of my small back or phone case. So let's look at my ready project. Please don't forget to subscribe to my page or channel. Follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. So my adorable, so my adorable phone case back is ready. Here how it looks. I created this phone case for my phone. So that's it. My project is done. You can use such small bag like a phone case or for a gift for children or like accessories for yourself. It's not so difficult so you need to spend a lot of time. See you in the next video tutorials. It was Elena Rugal. Thank you so much for watching. Crochet with me. Bye. See you.